Hello and welcome to computer class. My name is Dave and today we're talking about HTML tables. So navigate to w3schools.com, click on their HTML tutorial, and then click on the HTML tables tab on the sidebar. Now when it comes to HTML tables, there are four tags that go into creating uh, the table. The first is the overall table tag, which is the container in which the table is made. And so there it is, the table tag. Once you define the table, inside those parameters will be the table. And then there are rows, and those rows are horizontal. You have to write them vertically, but they're horizontal, and that's kind of the confusing part. And the first row of the table is the uh, what goes across the top, um, and it's usually the parameters of the table. Um, so it will be signified by TH for table header. And then you have table data in the rest of the rows. And so when you click on the chart yourself here, you can see that obviously the things in bold were the table headers, and then the table data is right here. Um, and that is all within the table rows. And again, you're writing, you're writing vertically, but your table is appearing horizontally. And I think that's what makes it kind of difficult. So let's throw these into our spreadsheet real fast so we can remember them. Um, uh, there we go. Table container. Now we've got table row. All right. And then they say that we have table header and table data. And table data. All right. So those are the four new ones we just threw in there. Let's actually build a table. Before we do that, it should be noted that you can style tables, and they have a lot of styles below this. They have borders you can add, collapsible borders, which basically just takes away the default of two borders, padding that you can add, headings, uh, border spacing, uh, cell that spans many columns. They talk about all this, but mainly this is all CSS, so it's not really part of HTML. I could talk about all this, but again, a lot of this, even um, even adding a caption, uh, theoretically, is, you know, people don't really add a ton of captions. So most of this is CSS, but you can see there's a lot of different styles that you can throw at your uh, HTML table. What I would refer to you to is this first illustration they use because it's a very typical looking spreadsheet slash table. Um, and if you hit the chart yourself here, here you, here you can see that they have chosen to style the table up in the head section. And the most important thing that they have done is they have given a background color to every even row within the table. I think that really makes a nice layout and a good looking table, so to speak. So if you are making one for your website, I would definitely think that that's a good idea to create. So let's actually do it. Let's create a table um, by going over to brackets, file new, file save as, and let's save it to our desktop, index.html. Now you don't really need a file directory structure for this one because there's no actual things we're inserting. So anyway should be noted and of course as always I'm going to go to the home section here and grab their template HTML document that they have just because it's easier so I don't have to type that and tab the items in that are in the document so here we go now I'm going to change a few things here I'm going to say that this is a table all right and erase this and then start creating my table. So table, as soon as I form that, it gives me the container for the table. And then we've got our uh, table row. And this first row, so it will be the table header. So TH, 
and you can make as anything you want, any parameters um, that you that you wanted to. I'm just going to do name, and actually, once you get one, you can just kind of copy paste. That's the nice thing about tables. Control C, Control V, and then we could do date, and I don't know. We could do name, date, height, <laughs> as an example. All right, and then basically you could just start a different one. And these will be the parameters right underneath of that row. And this one's going to be table data because it is data. So the name of the first person, I'm just going to say it's me, David, and my fictitious date of birth in this illustration is 420 and my fictitious height which I'm pretty short by the way is 5 8 actually we could just do 5 foot 8 there we go actually we can't really type that so let's just do 5 feet for right now Okay, now we could do is we could copy this and do it two more times. And we could change out the people, Ben, my other brother, Matt, my other brother, change the dates to one. Let's just say he's seven feet. That's not true, but anyway. And then we could load up this document. And there we go. We have a very crunched table there. And so you can see it's, it's pretty easy to write a table. The idea that you're writing laterally and it creates the spreadsheet um, uh, horizontally is, is a pretty uh, easy issue here. And if you wanted to style this, you would simply go up here in the head section, put in a style tag, and then you could kind of drop in some styles. And I really like some of the ones they did in this opening tutorial of tables. So let me go grab those. So they styled the table like this. So let's actually throw that in and see what, just what it does. Okay. Awesome. Save it, reload it, see what happens. And there we go. That's that's kind of a little bit neater. It makes up something that's more of a table that you're used to seeing. Um, obviously, there could be a whole lot more at it. If we added all of the stuff that they put in, here we can grab the rest of it. Throw it in there. Whoa. Okay, save. You can kind of see what each of those things do. So it creates a table. Every other row is gray. And so this is kind of a neat thing uh, that you can create using HTML table tags. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.